Today we have the Chick Nod, and it's made by Power Blaze from Timu, and it was $529. And I couldn't resist this much capacity for this much price. This has the same capacity as a server rack battery, and those go for $800 to $1,300 right now, so $500 for the same capacity is a little fishy. The first red flag was the weight. For this capacity, it should be 100 pounds. But when you lift it up, it does not feel like 100 pounds. So next, I charge it up to 100% until we got high voltage disconnect, and then I did a capacity test. And on the first test at a 0.2C rate, I got 70 amp hours. That is the worst test result I've ever had on this channel. Also, the cell voltages were perfectly fine. They were not out of balance. In the BMS, it shows 0% state of charge. So I charged it up again and I did a second test. And this time, I got 69 amp hours. So this thing is not good. This is horrible. This is the worst advertising I've seen. It says 100 amp hours and you get 70. Now for the next problem, I don't know what's going on. We have 39 volts at the terminals and I cannot charge or discharge, but the app says that we are at 100% state of charge and that earlier we had a high temperature alarm when I tried charging it back up. So for whatever reason, this thing is now dead. There's voltage at the terminals, but I can't pull any power from it. It locks it down the moment I try to draw current. So we're gonna open it up and see what's going on. the cell voltages, the temperature, everything are perfect, but I can't wake it up. We have 53 volts, but at the BMS only 39. And if I connect my resistor bank, there is zero current going through this thing. It stops it. At first I thought it was over temperature, but these sensors, I cooled everything down. It showed that the temperature dropped on the app. Like it's actually responding to what I'm doing, but it's just not turning back on again. Also, this is supposed to be a 200 amp BMS but on the BMS, it says 100 amps right there. So don't try to use this for a golf cart because it's not going to work. ZXH is the BMS name. I've never worked with those BMSs before. Now the build quality is what you would expect at this price point. There is nothing between these cells. Oh, there's one piece of fiberboard and these bus bars cannot expand and contract. So that's bad. That's gonna put stress on the terminals. Then they have the nickel strips with the solder. This is not good as well. And the main supply conductors, they're connected with globs of solder. That's not what you wanna see. Now the cells have a QR code, but I can't tell what the capacity is. And 70 divided by three is 23. So maybe these are 25 amp hour cells and they're a little degraded. They're like grade B or used cells. I don't know. So pretty much everything here is bad. The cells are not pulling the full rated capacity. The bus bars are bad. These connections are not ideal. The BMS is not working. You have globs of solder. Even at this price point, this is not worth it. You can get something better for the capacity. Not having 30% of your capacity on the first cycle is really bad. And I know some people will see this and say, hey, I just want the cells, I'll slap my own BMS on there. But again, this is not worth it. Also, BMSs are not cheap. Cells might be getting cheaper, but not the BMS. Also, if you have to add your own fuse, a lot of people say, hey, if it doesn't have overcurrent protection, I can just add one of these. But the cost of these is not the difference in cost between the cheap ones and the more expensive ones because the nice batteries are really cheap now. So you're better off spending $30 more and getting something that's better. But these are still good. You should put this on all batteries. But I'm just saying, if you try to fix these cheap batteries, Calculate it before you do it because it might cost a lot of money. These are so ridiculously cheap now that this stuff costs quite a bit and this isn't changing in price anytime soon like these cells are. Now this I would never recommend buying. Sometimes with the budget batteries we can make it work, not this. Do not buy these types of batteries. And there might be some good batteries on Temu, I don't know. But it's always a gamble. So before you buy them, make sure you find a review where someone opens it up. If you get this same battery and you have a good time with it, post it on the form. If you have a bad time, post it on the form. Check it out, I'll have a link down below. And thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you in the next video. See you later, bye.